of Rage 2, one of my all-time fucking favorite fighting games of all fucking time. Yeah. Fighting game, you know. There's a big difference, though, between fucking Streets of Rage fighting games and Street Fighter fighting games, right? Street Fighter is like one-on-one -on -one fighting, right? Like most fucking fighting games, I guess. And Streets of Rage is you just fucking walking down the street beating up fucking everybody, you know? It's like fucking Double Dragon or fucking final fight. I actually kind of fucking prefer this kind of fighting game where you fucking walk down the street and beat the fuck out of everybody, you know? But, uh, the term fighting game usually fucking refers to, like, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat kind of games. Uh, Streets of Rage would kind of be classified today as, uh, a brawler? Or, like, a beat-em-up. Sometimes they're called fucking beat-em-up games. I just call it a fucking fighting game, because you're fucking fighting. What? And for that, it's kind of fucking like that movie, The Warriors, you know, from the fucking 70s. Awesome. Warriors, come out to play. Warriors, come out to play. Mm. Oh, that guy's creepy. Ugh. Oh, are you guys creeped out too? Oh yeah, we're creeped out, man. Why is he clicking those glasses? Mm. I don't know why he's doing that. Oh, he is creepy. Streets of Rage 2 is the fucking very best brawler, beat em up, whatever the fuck you want to call it game ever, you know? But the fucking original Streets of Rage is a good game too, you know? In fact, it's one of the first fucking games I ever fucking got for the fucking Sega Genesis. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog was the first game I got for it, because it fucking came with the fucking Sega Genesis when I got it for fucking Christmas. But then I turned around and spent my fucking Christmas money on the fucking Streets of Rage. Yeah. There's three fucking guys to choose from. Adam, Axel, or Blaze. And, uh, you know, you just walk down the street fucking kicking people's ass. You know, you know punch them, kick them, grab them, fucking throw them, slam them into the fucking ground. You pick up weapons like fucking you know, lead pipe and bash people over the fucking head. It's fucking awesome, you know. There's also a fucking special move you can do, where it just fucking kills everybody on screen. You know, it's kind of like in fucking Golden Axe, when you use the magic, and like it rains fucking fire. Uh, just like that, except, you know, it's a fucking police car, shows up as backup, and just launches a fucking rocket launcher. That kills every fucking buddy, except for you. You know, big fucking explosion, everybody burns except for you. It's crazy, but yeah, it's, it's cool. But then Streets of Rage 2 came out and just blew the original away. It was just like the fucking first game, but everything about it was made bigger, better, and more awesome, you know? The graphics were, everybody was bigger and more detailed, you know? There were more attack moves, and uh, it was just fucking awesome, you know? Well, in the fucking first game, there were three different guys to choose from, but it really didn't matter much which guy you chose, because they all fucking about played the same. But in Streets of Rage 2, you know, there's four different guys, and they're each vastly different from fucking each other, you know? Yeah, like fucking Max is this big Hulk-looking motherfucker who's like, you know, he's really fucking slow, but he's super fucking strong. He can, like, bash through anything in his fucking way. And then there's the little fucking kid called Skate. You know, he's got Skate, so they call him Skate. Yeah, that's a real fucking original. But, uh, he's really fucking fast, but he's weak, right? But he can do these, like, rolling kicks and fucking uh, spin attacks and uh, stuff like that. He's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, but the fucking guy to be in Streets of Rage 2 is fucking Axel. Yeah, he's fucking fast, and he's fucking strong. 
He's just a fucking well-rounded fucking fighter. And he's got this devastating fire fucking punch that just destroys everything in the fucking way. Just push forward, forward, B, and bam! He'll just destroy everything, you know? It's a great fucking finishing move, too. You know, and when he does it, he's like, ra da da ra da da Sounds like ra da da ra ba ba Or fucking something. Right there, talk. I have no idea what the fuck he's saying. Fuck, I, I don't know what the fuck he's saying, you know. I always assumed it was fucking something in Japanese. Like, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know what he's saying. You know. Ratata or something. I never fucking knew what he was saying. Right that ta Yeah. Threes of rage, too. Check that out. Don't walk. So, yeah, I always fucking wondered what the fuck he was fucking saying there. And recently I fucking saw a video on YouTube here with this guy Ray Amesley, who's a one-legged self-defense instructor, you know. He demonstrates how to do a fucking flame and punch, which involves fucking lighting your fist on fire. Oh, fucking course, you know. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. And he says a fucking grand upper in the video. Grand upper. He calls it a grand upper. So th that's what he's fucking saying? Grand upper? Grand upper. Grand upper. Grand Upper! Grand Upper! Grand Upper! Yeah, I guess that's what he's saying, sure. Why not? Grand Upper! Grand Upper! Grand Upper! Grand Upper! Yeah. See up there in the fucking corner? We got the cover of the Japanese version of fucking Streets of Rage. But in Japan, they call it fucking Bare Knuckle. Which I kind of fucking like. Because I'm a bear. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. That bare knuckle toe day. Hey, I like it because he looks like fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger, fucking in the background, cackling like a madman. And Axel kind of looks like Jean Claude Van Damme. You know what I mean? Kind of a little bit. And uh, yeah, Blaze is really fucking sexy. Check her out. Nice. I love fucking Blaze. She's so fucking sexy. Yeah. Blaze is so sexy. So sexy. Is it wrong? Is it wrong for me to fucking have the hots for a video game girl? Hmm? Is it? Right that top. Yeah, well. What?